Howdy folks and welcome to another Xterra Pro Adventure. Here we are back in the toasty greenwoods for the second part of this adventure. Now we started out the adventure with a couple of friends. So let's see where it all started, shall we? See you in a minute. Well, see you in about five minutes. Well, here is my first thing today. I'm quite happy with that. Nice little, I think it's the back of a, a drawer handle fitting or something like that. It's quite nice. Probably uh, late 17, early 1800s. That's, yeah, it's quite nice. That's lovely, that is. I like that. It's a thing of beauty. So here we go. Rob's going for a live one. Says it's good signal. It's in here. It's in the clod. It's in the clod, is it? Is it? I can see something there. What you got? It's a. Uh, that looks like a spout, mate. I think that's a spout. Let's have a look. Well, it's a thing, and a thing is better than a nothing. Ah. <laughs> see, it's got no. It's got no thread on it. Um, not sure. It's a, a oddity. There's a hole through it, though, by the looks of it. Yeah, that's what I'm But this looks like it's kind of squashed. I don't know. I thought it was a spout at first. One of them kind of mixed metal. We'll clean it up later, see what it is. Cool. Well, does anybody know what this thing is? Uh, weird bronze thing, got a hinge on it. I found parts of this before broken. Never knew what it was. Never knew it hinged like that. It's almost like a um, yeah, set of compass. You draw your circles with. I'm not too sure. Unusual. Hmm. Oh, well, next up for me is an unknown. Uh, um, uh, I don't know. Looks like it had something on it. I suppose a gentle clean up. See it's got a little foldy bit on the back. Not quite sure. Is it a badge? I don't know. I don't know. I will have to find out later. Hmm. Oh what? Is that what it's it? What is it? Can't be a real sword. I think it's a gate iron. See, it's a pointy yeah. end. These three. Maybe you could make it into some orc type tool, like an orc weapon for Lord of the Rings type thing. I knew it was iron. I thought it was going to be a horseshoe, to be honest. But, uh... That's cool. Well, check out this big buckle. That's a big bagger. That's a nice one, that is. Probably have some horse harness or something like that, but yeah. That's still under the buckle tree. Give me a sec. Well, I've jumped on and helped Matt on the quest for a minute. So, that's a couple of pieces for me. <laughs> well, let's have a look what we've got down here, folks. And it is, oh, it's a nice one as well. It's one of the SO ones. Now, these are quite cool, because uh, if you clean these up nicely, some of the car collectors actually collect these. And that's a nice one, SO. E double S O, cool. As you can see, still seems to be in good condition. Yeah, that will might be worth a good clean up. Excellent. I like that. It's modern, but it's nice. Oh, well, guys, we're not in Shrapland, but I know for a fact that that is part of a Mills grenade plug. Oh God, that might explain explain the buckle hoard. Matt's just had a nice big horseshoe. Nice big horseshoe, ain't it, Matt? You can't hear me. Yes. Well, you can be a mile out from the tree and still get these bloody things. Yeah, it's not going too well. Don't think any of us have seen a coin yet. Not even a toasty green. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, I got a toasty. Um, don't know if you can see, but the head's pointed this side. It 
Nico. Tyler, coin. Ha ha ha. Well, I've heard of a needle in a haystack, but I've never heard of uh, a nittle, knitting needle in a field. And it's actually a size seven for those of you out there that did the knitting. So uh, yeah, I don't think that's any good for me mum anymore. But uh, yeah, knitting needle in the middle of a field. Makes sense. So here we are, back in Toasty Greenwood. Hope you enjoyed that first five minutes. Yes, we didn't find a lot, but we're back, back in the Toasty Greenwood. And I say we, cause my good old mate Matt's with me. Say hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Yes. So we're going to see what we can find today. Hopefully some toasty bloody greens. Hopefully maybe a toasty shiny thing. Yes. Right, let's get on with it. Yes. So here's my first find today. Seems to be a little lead token or it could be a lead cow tag. I think there's a number on there. It's either a three or a five. But yeah, that starts us off in the woods. Toasty green woods. So first out of the toasty green woods today, we seem to have what looks like to be a small George the Third small head. Yes. It's a small head, George the Third. Yeah, I totally cocked that up. I know I did. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Coinage. Let's get on with this coinage day. So Matt's just got a toaster. I won't call it a toasty green. It's more of a toasty orange. Yes, we've never had a toasty orange before, but we've got one now. Um, yeah, it's probably a farting of some kind. Farthing, should I say? But nice. That's uh, a coin to finally add to your uh, five buckles and pewter button from yesterday. Yes, and don't forget the Shire horse ho horseshoe. Yes, it was huge, huge. huge. So I've ever seen. yes, right. Got to be some more shiny in here. So that's a coin each to us now. All right, let's get on with it. See you in a second. Ah, it's another toasty. Not quite a toasty green, but it's still toasty. <laughs> well, this one's an odd toaster. It's quite thin. It's all bent up. Toasted out. Hmm. Not sure on that one. I don't think it's a button though. Go. Cool. What's that? Is that? <gasps> shh, 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 keep quiet. We don't want to disturb it. That is a rare sighting of a metal detectorist collecting bits of silver and shiny things for its den. If we're quiet, we can actually observe it hunting with its long proboscis type appendage. Shh, here it comes. Hopefully he hasn't seen us. There we go. See how he swings his... Oh, I didn't see us. Good, that's good. See how he swings, searching for his treasure. The other appendage carries a shovel type item to help dig. But yes, remarkable. Absolutely stunning plumage. Yes. There he goes. Slowly trundling through the woodland. As he carries his endless daily search for shiny round thingies. Well, check out the contrast of him amongst the uh, green grass. He's a beauty. Um, uh, can't remember the species at the minute. I want to say something like a red tiger beetle. I'll put it up at the next next to it anyway. Whatever it is, he's a nice one. Hello, matey. Hello. <laughs> Are you getting bored of these things yet? Because I, I slightly am. <laughs> it's another toasty green. Freaking things. Give me some coins with some something on. Give me something shiny. For f 
Next up, George the Sixth, Toasty Green. Uh, yeah, can't get to the date, so um, Toasty Green. I bet you're getting sick of that now. Yeah, even I'm getting sick of it. I just want to shout Shiny or Bling or something like that, but no, instead I've got to keep just shining, shouting, Toasty, flipping green. Yes. Well, that bugger was deep. That's uh, George the Six, two shilling, keeper and nickel. Toaster. Crap. <laughs> uh, I think I did say the other day, apart from the uh, toasty greens, all that seems to come out of here is weird lead, weird shaped lead. I mean, I wouldn't even call that a musket ball. I don't know what it is. It's just a thing. Unknown. What you got? Well, let's go and have a see what Matt's got. It's probably more rubbish, but we'll see. Is it out or? It's out. It was a roll. Now nothing. Swing the, the last blob that came out was that one. Swing the detector over it. See what it says. <laughs> There's my bloody probe. I think what we've got down here, folks, is something massive and iron. Hold that. Get the award for the biggest iron piece found to date. You and these ah! simplexes. Now I'm saying something like, Matthew, what is it with you and this detector? Every time you seem to use it, you seem to find iron. I don't know what it is, but maybe you should get another detector, such like mine. Yes. Something like that, I was saying, definitely. Let's leave it there. Well, guys, I thought we'd go into the toasty green, but it's not. It's for you, butter lovers. Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't it nice? It's, oh, it's nice. It's very nice. So, is the thing, though, have we got there today? Have we got two button moon? Have we got there? Have we got there and back? Have we got there, back, back again, and all the way around to um, button Mars? We haven't mentioned Button Mars before, but we don't mention Button Mars. Yes, people, it's time for your favourite game, What's in the Clod? So, what do you reckon it's going to be today? Uh, there's something in here. Something. Let's find out. Something. Ha-ha. <laughs> and it's... It, hold on. <laughs> oh, what colour is that? Oh, who we got? Hold on a minute. Let me give it a little bit of a rub against the trouser. I think... Oh, no. What? Hold on. Who's this? What we got? Um... Uh... I think it's George. I think it might be George II. Oh, cool. I think we have got a George the Second. Um, can't remember what coin it is, but we got some bling. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Has it died? Oh well. Good, right, that's, uh, I'm gonna carry on back to the bag though, but. Uh, well done. Excelente, great. Well folks, I just got a ringy thing, a modern ringy thing. It's not Celtic ring winner or Dorset button or anything good like that. It's just a modern ringy thing. Ringy thingy, thingy ringy ringy dingy dingy thingy ringy. So uh, yeah, um, hmm. Well, the simplex is dead. Long live the Xterra Pro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna call that it. Bollocks to you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna call that it. We shall see you all at show and tell. Go back, clean up what we got. Right. Now, how do, how do we get out this wood? Can you remember? Uh, that way. Hmm. Well, folks, welcome back. And not bad. Two, two days going out digging. Toasty green woods and back to the uh, bronze axe field. You can see here in England, we have the sun out. It's not something we see. It's quite a rare thing. It's like finding gold. Um, <laughs> right, anyway, let's do show and tell. Let's see what we got. Let's do it outside. Let's use some natural light for this. Right, see you in a minute. Let's have a look. So, let's start with the crap. We got some bits of lead. Still don't know what that is. I took it in the crap pile because I don't know what it is. Um, ringy thing, melted draw handle, door handle, uh, yeah, draw handle, cupboard handle or something. Um, Lead cap off some probably thing off gates, some more bits of lead, some more bits of crap. A rivet with a piece of leather around it. And yeah, but that's it. Crap. So here's the slightly better things. Let's do the buckles. Well, yeah, we sent Matt under the buckle tree so he could at least find some that wasn't iron. Matt Ironside. Uh, <laughs> yeah, lots of them buckles again. Why there's so many, we still don't know. Uh, Matt's got five of them though now. Uh, yeah, the lovely SO. That's a petrol cap can, uh, petrol can cap. Just get it right, Craig. That is nice. You can clean these up, get them on eBay, and yeah, the car collectors quite like these. Uh, move on. I can't work out what's on that. I keep wanting to say there's a little bird design on it, but it could also be where it's been sat against grass or something like that. It's left like this. I don't know. I keep looking, I keep saying, oh, there is a bird there, there's a bird, there's not, there is, there isn't. I don't know. Not sure. That thing could be some kind of measuring tool or compasses. Um, I think that could be the bottom of a barrel tap key. These things, anybody know what these are? I ain't got a clue what these are. Found quite a few over the years. Um, draw handle back probably had something like that on its front look little draw knob so it's probably like that um that thing that i thought was a coin crusty folded coin but it's not i don't know what it is little washer or whatever it is it's got a hole in it now if it was a coin it's been turned into something um lead tag with r and b on and yeah lead tag with five on it's all ripped up uh, that's the better bits. Hmm, move on. So now the question on all of your minds, as per usual, is, did we get there? Well, we stormed there with 23 buttons this week. 23 buttons. They were popping out all over the bloody place this week, yeah. But only really one for you, button lovers. Oh, it is nice though. So a big dandy button, as you can see. It was probably gilded once. Just see the sun catching it in the gilded areas. Yeah, but nice big dandy button. And I'm unsure about this one because it's all multiple different colors. It's been melted, as you can see. It's quite heavy. I'm well, sorry, folks. Um, <clears throat> apparently, because of the temperature in England at the minute, it got too hot for my phone. So it's just had to shut itself down. <laughs> But yeah, what I was saying is it's a heavy button. You should imagine it's mixed metal. It's a bit shiny, it's a bit green, it's a bit everything. But yeah, 
buttons. Let's not brush them all over the floor today. <laughs> so let's have a look at these coins then before the sun goes behind the house and warms, well, either that or the fire gets too warm again. Let's start at the top. We've got Queen Elizabeth II, one penny. Crap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's toasted. A um, couple of George VI. It's going to be a gorgeous week, trust me. A um, <clears throat> couple of George VI. Uh, got a penny. I believe that's 1946 on that one. And then the two shilling, which is a 1949. Nye. Uh, move on to George III's. Uh, I think that's a half penny. And this one's a farthing. So, yeah, a couple of George the Thirds. Move down. Guess who this one is? Well, that one that we found the first day with Rob on that field. That turns out to be a George the Second. Which is quite nice. And I believe this one, this toasty green, is also a George the Second. I didn't make out his head. Then we move down. I believe we actually have... A George the First. I think, I believe. As you can see that it's another toaster. Toasty green, but not as much as the actual true absolutely toasted out. God knows what it is. Looks like a farthing of some kind, but yeah, it gone. So uh hmm. That's the coinage. Let's move on to the best of the stuff I so here we are, star find, and um, as I said, it's a George's week because we've got this absolutely beautiful George the Second, and that's a sixpence. And I found the date on it, which is actually 1757. So three years before the end of his reign, but that is beautiful. Happy with that? Nice bit of. Nice bit of bling, as you heard, to uh, finish the trip on. Yes, happy as Larry with that, so. Nice, right. Keep dropping it, oh shit. So thanks for joining me for this adventure, folks. It's been an interesting one. At least we got a bit of bling at the end. Uh, thanks for Matt for joining me on this adventure. And thanks for Man of the Forest for also laying us on his permission. Um, right. I think that's about it folks uh hello to new subscribers don't know where you'll keep coming from but carry on <laughs> carry on like you carry on subscribing and carry on hitting that silly bell thing up there bing that one right till the next one folks i'm gonna carry on enjoying the sun tatty bye and thanks for coming <laughs>